Now, maybe you're not quite ready to pay for a professional email service like Zoho Mail, Google Workspace, or Outlook for Business. However, you still want your email to look professional across your website, social media, business cards, and on other channels. Well, email forwarding is a great place to start for increasing the professionalism of your brand. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel, and if it's your first time here, then thanks for joining me. Now, in today's brief tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the simple process of how to set up email forwarding for free within your cPanel. Okay, so before we dive into this email forwarding tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to this channel. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and dive into our cPanel and set up email forwarding. Okay, so the example I'm going to use today is I want to create this email as a forwarding email and this email is going to send or forward emails to a destination email which is just going to be a free Gmail. What we can do is set an email up like this and simply forward the emails that our customers or potential customers send to this email ID, those will be forwarded to our Gmail. So let's go ahead and dive into our cPanel and walk you through this process. Now, depending on your hosting provider, most likely you'll have access to your cPanel. Now, if you're not too sure how to log into your cPanel, simply get in touch with your hosting provider and ask them for those details. Then, once you've arrived in your cPanel, simply navigate over to email, find email and come down and select email accounts. Now, this section may be further down the screen, further down your cPanel dashboard. But for me, I have my email up the top and here is my email accounts. What you want to do is select email accounts. Then, simply navigate over to the far right hand side and click on create. Then simply navigate over to create an email account and under username, this is where you want to add your username for your email for your domain. And remember the example we're using today is sales at cindiomedia.co.nz. So this is our domain name and our email that we want to create is sales at, and remember this could be anything. It could be sales, help, team. It could even be your name. For example, it could be Stuart at cindiomedia.co.nz. Maybe I only have one email address on my website that I use on all my business content, my business materials. Then that is the email that I want to create. However, you can also create multiple forwarding emails if you like. So once you've added your username up here, simply come down and add a password. We're going to go ahead and click generate. And that's going to go ahead and generate a password for us. So what you want to do is take that password you've just created or generated and save that password on file. And then simply come down and click create. And as you can see up here, we've gone ahead and created our new email account. Now what we want to do is head back to our cPanel. And the reason we have HostPuppet up here is because we use HostPuppet as our hosting provider. Then this time, what you want to do is locate email again and then come down and find forwarders. What you want to do is select forwarders and then under forwarders, what we want to do is navigate over to create an email account forwarder and then come down and click add forwarder. Then simply navigate up to address to forward and enter in the username that you just created earlier. For us, we created sales at cindiomedia.co.nz which means we just need to add sales in here. Then come down to domain, make sure you have your primary domain selected. If not, choose the right domain that you want to use and then come down to destination. This is where we want to put our free email, our Gmail or Outlook email that we want to use to essentially forward emails to. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our free Gmail email and basically what's going to happen when we come down and click add forwarder is when anyone sends an email to sales at cindiomedia.co.nz that email is going to be sent or forwarded directly into this email inbox. 
Then, once you've added your destination email, come down and click Add Forder. And as you can see, all emails sent to sales at cindiomedia.co.nz will now be copied to or forwarded to stewstutorials at gmail.com. Then come down and click go back. And congratulations, just like that, you've completed your forwarding email. Now, what you can do is continue to create additional email addresses and set up forwarding if you have multiple emails that you want to use, that you want your clients or potential clients to reach out to you through those emails. For example, at the moment we have sales at cindiomedia.co.nz, so those that are interested in a quote or reaching out in regards to sales can use this email. But maybe we have a support at cindiomedia.co.nz over on our website for those that need support or have issues with our products or services. And we can go ahead and simply set up that new email address and forward those emails either directly to this Gmail here or a completely different email. And that is how you can simply set up email forwarding within your cPanel. And there we have it guys, that is it for this email forwarding tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about email forwarding, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. <music>